When discussing the trend in melting of boiling points across the period, let's first establish that group 1 to 4 are solids at room temperature, but group 5 to 8, they're gases. Let's firstly, let's firstly look at the change in melting point across the period from group 1 to 4. And we'll be using the third period, sodium to silicon, as an example. So let's firstly look at what is the nature of bonding for these four atoms. So we have what? We have metallic bonding for group 1, 2, 3. And then we have the giant covalent structure. Giant covalent macromolecule. Let's briefly explain metallic bonding. It is um, a lattice of metallic ions surrounded by delocalized sea of electrons. And it's the essential, it's essentially the electrostatic attraction between these positively charged metallic cations and the surrounding negative electrons. And it will look something like this. If we use sodium plus as the cations, metallic cations. Let's draw four of them. And then surrounding these guys will be electrons. Four electrons. And these electrostatic attraction are substantially high, giving the group one to three quite high melting points. If we compare this with magnesium, which has two plus, ionic state and it's going to give two electrons instead of just one. So in comparison in comparison to sodium, magnesium will have substantially greater electrostatic attraction between its metallic cations and the surrounding delocalized electrons. Um, therefore higher melting point. Sodium, magnesium, and aluminium. Aluminium, the, this guy is quite strong. He's got a very high melting point. It should be over 2000 degrees Celsius. And yeah, that's again because aluminium ion is 3 plus and each ion will produce 3 electrons. So we can draw on the graph. Trend, an increasing trend in melting point. Giant covalent macromolecule is essentially where each atom is connected to, is bonded to another through covalent bonding. And in order to melt that, that means we have to break in, we have to break these covalent bonds, which will obviously require a very high amount of energy. And a good example of this is carbon. Carbon, we are very we're already familiar with the diamond and graphite. Uh, macromolecules of carbon, right? And these guys are, uh, these guys pretty much have the highest melting point. Diamond should be over 3000 degrees. Um, but then silicon is slightly different. Silicon has a slightly less um, melting point, which is, and it's actually quite slightly less than aluminium. So let's just draw it like that. 